Do you want your email to look professional and attractive? We're going to show you how to design your email in MailChimp based on a layout. Rod here, and welcome to Burn to Learn. Once you sign into the dashboard, click on Templates in the menu bar. Now click on Create a Template. Then you'll see three options, Layouts, Themes, and Code Your Own. For now, we're going to focus on Layouts. Click here, and a list of pre-designed layouts will be displayed. Hover your mouse over a specific layout and a magnifying glass icon will appear in the corner. If you click on it, it'll show you a preview of the layouts in two modes, desktop and mobile. Go back and select a layout. Often the best option is to keep things simple, so we'll choose the basic layout. Now let's take a look at what MailChimp has to offer. On the right side under content, it gives you various sections that you can drag and drop on your email here on the left to spice it up. Now under design, a list will appear. This is where designing gets fun. Change the color, borders, font, styles, and many more things in these options. Now here on the left, click on any section you'd like to edit and a black bar will appear giving you four options. Here you can change the location of the section. On the right side, the pencil icon lets you edit the current section. You can also duplicate the section clicking here. And finally, the trash can icon deletes the section. Let's see an example. In this sample basic email, I'm going to leave this top section just as it is since usually there's no need to change it. Then. Let's click on the pencil icon to modify the content. On the right side, under content, you can upload an image. This is where you usually put your logo. Click on replace and a new window will open. Then click on upload and select the image from your computer. Now let's go back to modify the text section. In the text editor, type in or paste your content. You can also change the style in the second option. In this case, I'm going to select the title and change the font size and color to match those with the color of my image, like this. Now I'll edit this social media section by including my channels and adding a link to direct people to my website. Finally, in the last section, you can modify the email address that will appear at the end of your email. By default, MailChimp adds the contact information you set up in the beginning of your campaign. I'm fine with it, so I won't change anything here. Once you're happy with your design, you can try it out. Go to the corner, click on send a test email, add your email address, send test, and that's it. In a few seconds, you'll receive your test email. Now that we've worked on an email layout, you'll need to know how to import and create an email list in MailChimp to start sending out your marketing campaign. We'll see that in the next video. Was this one helpful? If so, just like and subscribe. Also join the Inner Circle, our technical skills learning accelerator.